This is going to be a bit of a crash course in Grafana. Since Grafana has a Zabbix plugin, I'm just going to demonstrate that. This is not a Grafana course, but I'm just going to show you what you need to do in order to view your data inside Grafana. I'm going to install Grafana on the same server as my Zabbix server. So in order to do that, I'll just go to the download Grafana page here. And I'm, my Zabbix server is Ubuntu. So it's just these two commands is all I need for now. So I'm just going to copy those. Wget and just paste that into there. I'm on my server there. Downloading. And the other one, the Debian package manager, which will install it. That's what the I is doing. Excellent. So after then, we have to start the Grafana server. So let's just sudo service Grafana service start. Okay. Now on my Zabbix server, the default Grafana install isn't isn't adding an SSL certificate. So it's going to be on HTTP, but if I just visit my URL there and just put in 3000, there we go, it takes me to the Grafana login straight away. And the default username and password is admin, and the password is admin. Login, logged in, wants a new password. User password changed. Okay, so we've installed Grafana. We need to add a data source. Um, our data source is going to be Zabbix. But I'm going to use also use the SQL data source because that will mean we can retrieve data from Zabbix much faster because it will be able to just read data directly from the database. Okay, so we're going to add a data source. And the first data source is going to be MySQL. Select that. Leave it MySQL. And the, lo the host is already local host. We're going to connect to the Zabbix database. And that database is called Zabbix. And the user I'm going to call Grafana. I haven't created this user yet, but I'll explain why in a second. I'm just going to call it, use password as the password, just to keep it nice and simple for this video. So Zabbix and the user is going to be Grafana. Excellent. So down here it says the database user should only be granted select permission on the specified database. That's all right. We'll do that now. And that's because Grafana does not validate the queries are safe, so queries can contain any SQL statement. So what we're doing, we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is just go onto that uh, Zabbix server and just create a new user called MySQL. Create a new user called Grafana, which only has select permissions on Zabbix server. So MySQL, okay, so I'm logged into MySQL on my Zabbix server. I'm gonna create a user. Um, Grafana at localhost identified by password. Enter. That's okay. Now I'm going to grant select on Zabbix.star to Grafana at localhost. Enter. Flush privileges. Okay. And just quit. Excellent. Back to Grafana. Let's just save and test that. Data source updated, a database connection, okay, good. If we go down here, look at data sources, we have a MySQL default. Now, now to install the Zabbix data source, we'll have to install a plugin. It doesn't show up in the list. We can find more plugins. We can open that in a new window. There we go, there's Zabbix. Now to add Zabbix to our Grafana, what we'll need to do is just use the Grafana CLI here, command. Okay, so now let's just copy that there. So Grafana CLI plugins install Alexander Zobin and the Zabbix app, enter. Okay, it says restart Grafana after installing. So yeah, sudo service. Grafana server restart. Okay, 
Let's go back into Grafana now, into data sources. If we go to plugins, we see Zabbix at the bottom. Okay, click that. Let's enable that. Plugin enabled now. We can update later if we need to. Let's go back into data sources, add data source, and then just click Zabbix at the bottom, select. The URL is going to be my Zabbix server plus Zabbix slash API JSON RPC, like that. So let's paste that into there because it's easier than typing. Access server default, that's the same as proxy if you're familiar with the older versions of Grafana. API details, I have to put in my or oh, um, a user for Zabbix. I um, probably should create a specific user, but I'm going to use my admin account for now. And direct database connection. Select the MySQL data source we created a few minutes ago. Save and test. Okay, data source updated. Zabbix API version 426 DB connection MySQL. Okay, that's good. Let's go and have a look at that now. Data sources. We've got two data sources. And when we look at the Zabbix data source, we also get dashboards here. So we can just import these three dashboards just so that we've got something to look at. Okay, so create dashboards home. Those three dashboards are now on the left there and we can look at them. So if, let's look at system status. Okay, so it can shows, shows me I've got one warning. So this is already something we can look at. Let's see what else we've got server dashboard okay so this is Zabbix server two days because I copied it across to a new server yesterday Zabbix queue now this is already stuff that we can look at and if we go back and we look at template Linux server this is something that is created inside what's well, been pre-created for us server load network traffic now the group here, it's imported my groups from my Zabbix groups. So Docker hosts, Linux servers, Mac OS X, Windows and Zabbix, um, whatever hosts. So let's look at Zabbix servers, Zabbix server, Raspberry Pi. It's all imported already. It's all good because uh, the data sources are already mostly configured for us. And we can zoom into data if we like. You know, Grafana looks quite nice. Well, since this is just a bit of a crash course, we're just going to create a our own specific graph or dashboard. So let's go down to dashboards, create a dashboard. I'm going to create a new dashboard. I'm going to just go straight to add query here. The query is going to be Zabbix. The query metrics, that's okay. So group, I'm gonna select Zabbix servers. Host, my Zabbix server. The application, it's gonna be my SSL check. These are, these are from my earlier videos. And the specific item, I can do twocoin.org. That's checking SSL for twocoin.org. And I can also, okay, so last six hours, let's look at that for the last uh, 30 days. There we go. And I can also add another one, add a query. Same thing, Zabbix servers, uh, host Zabbix server, SSL check and it's the other one, spcode.net. There we go, got two there. If I go into visualization, I can change the appearance of that graph if I like. There's a few other options there. Now, if 
I just uh, save that, save dashboard. My new name is just my custom example. Save. And there we go. That's, uh, that's enough for you to get started on Grafana and Zabbix.